What does the educational system look like here? Here, uh, in in Vietnam, you know, like the education systems in here, we will divide by like three three level. Mm -hmm. First, we call the primary school, right? That's from the age of our seven, and they will start five years, about twelve. They go to the secondary school. So they will be a uh, four year from secondary school and then high school. So high school is will be about sixteen to eighteen. Mm -hmm. So after the sec after the high school, the student will to the university or the college and they will join pass by a national like a national examination. Mm -hmm. After that, that is the general point that we basically to the point that we choose this university to study. So, is it mandatory that all kids go to school, or is it optional? Um, that is, you know, the government they say that all the kids have to go to school, and we try to publish now to the high school for all the kids. Mm -hmm. But it's still happening you know, that some family they are poor, they can't. Fought to send their kids to school. So some the government, the village government, they all the way have some team, some special policy to support the kids to go to school. Mm -hmm. Like to pay about twenty percent or fifty percent mm -hmm. the fee. Because the education in Vietnam is not compulsory. Oh uh, okay. the different that yeah capitalism nowadays for that it will become complementary, right? Yeah. Yes. But for the socialism, you have to pay. I... Do you have to pay if you go to the hospital? Of course. Yeah. You can, you know, if you, if you work for the government, you have the insurance, mm -hmm. right? But if you do not work for an official or a government place, you have to buy the insurance by yourself. Okay. If you don't buy the insurance, when you go to the hospital, you have to pay. And the hospital, you know, the healthcare system in Vietnam is not, is not really good. Yeah. If you if you go by the insurance to the hospital, it take you wait a long time. But if you go and pay directly, <laughs> you get right in. <laughs> Um, last night, um, we saw people outside um, burning things on the side but of the I road. Tell you that they do worship the ancestors. That's what that was for. Uh -huh. Okay. And the paper thing, you know, that is the paper thing is made like a clothes made by paper. Uh -huh. uh, the fake money made by paper. Uh -huh. It's been after the to worship, right? That's what we burn. It's mean that sent to the God, sent to the ancestors. Even tonight, some place they would do. So it's all the right hand in here. You see, this one of the ancestor house. This is a formal a family clan name. See, mm -hmm. make it very beautiful. You know that they be like the common house where they worship their ancestor. They were back about three or four generations. So that would be all one family lives in the small houses around it? Uh, no, they, they stay in a different house, right? But that is the... That's like their temple? House. It's like the special temple uh -huh. to open on the death ceremony days. And if they back to about four generations, they do one special day that's all relative will come in to do pay the respect to the ancestors. So what happens when um, two people get married? Um, do the ancestors join? So do you have a, a house that has both? Like this. When they get married, right? Both sides, the, the groom and the bride's house, they will have an altar where they 
remember saying the ancestors, the brother you said, like you buy them, come to join. And they were two the two eldest guy from two family. Mm -hmm. The eldest guy is not a very old man. He may be he may be young but he, he position in the family, he will be higher. Uh -huh. So he will represent for the this side for the groom and the bride. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they just do like celebration about in a good time. Uh -huh. In about half an hour. Then they go have a party. <laughs> they'll have to go to the pagoda for the <laughs> Buddhist people, right? To do it at home. But some, if they want special, they can go, they, if they have their good relative, they can go to the pagodas. Mm. Also, when we came in, uh, I saw a lot of um, dress shops um, for like uh, wedding dresses or fancy dresses. Is there like for rent. Oh, they're for rent. Yeah, yeah. You know, that is the service in Vietnam, you know. The wedding dress, they can they use like a three times. They will have it three times. Okay. The first, this will be on the engagement day. Engagement. And the second, that will be the day that they go together to the beautiful place to make the photo oh. edit. Mm -hmm. And the last, that will be the wedding day. Okay. So that it, they completely rent it for three days. Uh, so it's something different in Europe. You have only one time is on your wedding day yeah. yes. to dress on the wedding dress, right? Mm -hmm. But here, they have three times. Ah. They can do, you know, on the engagement day, they can do the like, traditional one, we call the Ao Yai. Mm -hmm. And when they go for photo, they can wear the Ao Yai or mm -hmm. even the European style wedding dress. Mm. And actually, on the day for the ceremony, pay the respect to the young center, mm -hmm. they will dread the traditional. Mm -hmm. But for the party, they will European style. Mm 